In a bid to secure airports, the Civil Aviation Ministry has decided to cut down the number of airport entry passes being provided to the staff of union ministers and MPs. Which of the following can be inferred from the given information? All right. Options are no follower of any minister will be issued pass at the airport. The airport will be less crowded. Ministers and MPs will have to travel alone at the airports. The sale of visitor tickets will be stopped at all the airports. Airport security will be strengthened. All right. Now read the question again. It says in a bid to secure airports, right? Which means in a effort to secure airports, the Civil Aviation Ministry has decided to cut down, right? You see, all these words are important. They have decided to cut down, cut down the number of airport entry passes, right? Airport entry passes being provided to the staff of union ministers and MPs, right? So basically what happens whenever these union ministers and MPs travel, you know, they come with a lot of, I mean, they come along with their staff and all these, uh, all the staff here is given this airport entry passes. I mean, till they kind of board the flight, they, they are allowed to enter the airport. Okay. Now that is in some way kind of, uh, you know, coming in the way of, let's say security. So in, in an effort to secure the airports, the ministry has decided that they will cut down the number of airport entry passes, which are being given to the staff of union ministers and MPs. So today, let's say if the number is 10 passes per minister's travel, they'll probably cut it down to four or five. I'm just throwing some numbers. These may not be the actual numbers, but the idea is that today they're giving 10 passes per minister. I mean, 10 passes to the staff of a particular union minister or an MP who's traveling, they'll cut it down to four, five, six, whatever number, right? So that's the whole idea. And they think that this will secure the airports. Now, which of the following can be inferred from the given information? Which of the following can be inferred from the given information? Now, what does it mean? Something that is not directly given in the statement, but can be drawn, right? Can be drawn from the uh, given statement. Now, look at option one. No follower of any minister will be issued uh, pass at the airport. Now, this is a very uh, clear <laughs> elimination. Why? It says no follower of any minister will be issued pass at the airport. That's the reason I had underlined the word cut down. See, it did not say that they will completely do away with airport entry passes. Right? The ministry said they will cut down the number. Right? They will still give some passes, but they'll cut down the number of passes. So no follower of any minister will be issued pass at the airport is clearly eliminated. Right? I mean, followers will be allowed, but not many. The airport will be less crowded. Now, this is obvious. If you cut down the number of airport entry passes, the airport would be less crowded because, you know, these guys usually travel with a lot of staff and, uh, you know, their own security. So airport will be less crowded and that probably may help the uh, airport authorities to, you know, keep a close eye on others. See, usually what happens when these guys, I mean, again, this like general understanding, when these guys travel a lot of, uh, you know, kind of lot of disturbance takes place, meaning uh, you have to focus on ministers travel or you have to, you know, focus on so many people coming along with them. But if the number of people coming along with the minister is cut down, obviously you can find that the airport is less crowded and your focus will be better. Right. I mean, instead of keeping an eye on 100 people, you may have to keep an eye on 95 people, which anyway, in some way, increase the uh, security. Right. I mean, security meaning it will help us uh, keep it uh, more secure. So option two cannot be eliminated. Looks like, OK, let us look at the remaining options. Option three, ministers and MPs will have to travel alone at their ports. This again is clearly eliminated because they will not be traveling alone. They'll come with staff, but then not the usual number. Option four, the sale of visitor tickets will be stopped at all the airports, clearly eliminated, right? I mean, no way it is talking about visitor tickets and all at the airports. Option five, airport security will be strengthened. Airport security will be strengthened. Now, this again is, you know, in line with what is given in the statement. The statement is all about strengthening the security at airports, right? But then airport security will be strengthened is again a very general statement. While some of you have marked the answer as option five, Given a choice between 2 and 5, I would say option 2 is closer. Again, like I said, there can be a debate. Some of you may strongly feel that option 5 is correct, but I would eliminate option 5 as well. And this is what happens in, in such questions, right? I mean, it's, it's about perception. It's about your point of view, right? Many may feel that airport will be less crowded because of this. 
others may feel that no airport security will be strengthened uh, by cutting down the number of passes airport entry passes for the staff so it, it is just to do with you know your point of view there your, if your perception goes in line with what the examiner had thought you will get plus one otherwise minus 0 0.25 okay so airport security will be strengthened why do you think airport security will be strengthened those who all have marked option five you getting it see is it anywhere i mean of course it will not be directly given but where in the statement has it been mentioned that the airport security will be strengthened see it can be an indirect effect of cutting down uh, i mean the number of airport entry passes but is it explicitly or anyway given there ha huh, vaishnavi vaishnavi says in a bid to secure so this is a you understand a bid right i mean it's it's a bid to secure airports but that does not mean that security will actually get strengthened i mean it is obvious that it will be less crowded and they'll be able to focus better but airport security will be strengthened you getting it airport security will be strengthened is is like a, i mean it is like an effect of whatever is being done but what do we have to do we have to find out what actually happens due to this process i mean not the end result but what can be like said what can be inferred from the given information sandeep morey has got a very interesting point he says only by cutting down some people how the crowd will reduce so what is i think i mean somehow some way it will help right it may not help in a big way but crowd will get reduced right now if we say out of 100 people 90 should be not allowed only then the crowd reduces that's a different way of looking at it but you know even if two people are thrown out the crowd is reduced right it will be less crowded obviously again in in one way you can also say that do ministers travel every day on from every airport so will the crowd be reduced every day all those angles can be looked at but then crowd will get reduced because number of airport entry passes are being reduced right focus on the word inferred which of the following can be inferred from the given information okay so strong objections here akash says that i strongly agree five should be the answer as airport can be less crowded by just a few more staff of mp can't be less crowded by just a few more staff of mp who rarely visit airports now i to some extent i agree with the first part but not with the second part when you say who rarely visit airports union ministers and mp's travel every day right if you are not aware let me tell you they travel every day maybe we have not seen it but you should know that they travel every day so you know if you think that because they rarely visit airports the it is going to be less crowded i will not second you on that right surya prakash also feels that i don't think the airport would be less crowded by cutting down the crowd so i think some of you strongly feel that five is the answer but like i said it is all perception based i would go for option 2 right i would go for option 2 yeah i think vikas has also mentioned that ministers travel every day so don't think that they rarely travel they may not work that's a different story guys but <laughs> they do travel all right see this is the challenge i mean i know some of you would say no no two is wrong five is correct but that's how it is it's about checking your point of view right